All right, so in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Feiyutech G4 Pro for your smartphone. This is a handheld gimbal that can work with just about any smartphone. Now, this was sent out to me by Gearbest. Of course, this doesn't affect my review in any way, shape or form. I was actually really interested in reviewing this product as I've been looking at getting a gimbal for my main rig, which is what's shooting the video you are currently seeing uh, for quite a while now, but I couldn't justify the money without at least playing with a gimbal first. So this provided the perfect opportunity for me to first try out a gimbal. Uh, this is my very first experiences with one. So today, let's review this Fayetech G4 Pro gimbal and tell you my first thoughts on using a gimbal. All right, so inside of the Fayetech branded box, there is a foam padding which houses all of the accessories and the gimbal itself. Now in the box, there is the gimbal as well as the handle that attaches to the bottom which holds the batteries. Now this gimbal takes two batteries at a time and there are four sets of batteries in or four batteries in the box which means you have two sets of batteries that you can use to power this gimbal. Now battery life on this gimbal is rated at four hours so you get about eight hours of runtime uh, with all of the batteries provided in the box. I believe this is enough for a shooting uh, for one single day so it's great for that. As well as that inside of the box there are counterweights, there is a six gram, an eight gram spacer as well as a 50 gram weight which uh, can be balancing out heavier phones, say you're using an iPhone 7 Plus as opposed to an iPhone 4. And of course, the battery charger and a mini USB cable to charge the batteries. All right, so now looking at the actual gimbal itself, this is made out of very premium materials and uh, feels very, very nice in the hand. Uh, as well as things in the hand, the controls on the, uh, on the gimbal, there is a single button on the front as well as a joystick which can be used for panning and tilting. The button can allow you to switch between different profiles so if you would like it to be locked on different axes you can change that with the button. On the back there is also a mini USB in and uh, the gimbal can hold just about any smartphone uh, on the box it says basically iPhone 4 to iPhone 7 Plus which is pretty much any standard size or in between for a smartphone as well. You just get the counterweight balanced perfectly and you can just about use any smartphone with this gimbal. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take the gimbal outside and get some test footage for you guys to look at to see if the gimbal looks awesome. I believe the footage that comes off it is quite good. If I have one negative, I do find the footage occasionally gets on a bit of an angle and I'm trying to balance this as best as I can. But now we're gonna go take a look outside, see what sort of footage I can get, and you guys can be the decider as to how good the footage looks in comparison to the phone being handheld. All right, here's some handheld test footage. I'm gonna start at these stairs, look up in the backyard, and just walk. Completely normal walking, I'm not trying to hold the phone still. All right, so here we are again at the stair. Exact same test footage again, not trying to hold the phone still at all. Just walking completely naturally, holding the gimbal. As you can see, the footage is much smoother, but you can see it's kind of tilting on an angle. All right, so here we are in my room here, just holding the phone and panning it around like I normally would be if I was just recording footage normally here without the gimbal. So this is completely handheld. I'm not trying to be super smooth with the phone. I'm just holding it as I normally would. It is exactly how I'm using the gimbal. Is completely natural and just how I would be holding it if I wanted to record on a day-to-day -day basis with it. So now let's use the gimbal and see what that can do. All right, so here's the gimbal test now, completely holding it with one hand, completely natural in uh, my room here, just panning around as we can see, uh, just looking at things, how much smoother the motion is. However, I do find it sort of tilts on an angle occasionally, but I guess that's one of the sacrifices you have to make. It's balanced as best as I can get it. But anyway, occasionally uh, the movements left to right are a little bit jittery. Uh, they are probably slightly more, so like just that one just then, slightly more sensitive than I'd like it to be. I would reckon the motion would look cool if when you turned it fast, it still moves slowly like this. But anyway, there we are with the video test indoors now. So let's jump over to the conclusion of this video. So as you can see there, the gimbal outside provides a massive amount of stabilization. It can also make the footage look unbelievably smooth. Uh, even when you're running, not trying to put an effort into holding the gimbal, still it does still does an excellent job of keeping the image very, very stabilized. So if you're after a gimbal for your smartphone, I definitely say the Fayutech gimbal is the way to go. I believe there are cheaper options out there. However, I have not tested those, so I can't vouch for if they're any good or not. However, the Fayutech gimbal has been very, very nice for me using. 
If I did have one negative, uh, it would be great if it was slightly bigger on the actual axis so the phone can actually turn further in each direction. However, that's just a minor gripe. You gotta keep the thing small so you can actually move it around. But there it is. That's my review of the Fayetech G4 Pro Gimbal. If you guys have enjoyed this style of review, let me know with a thumbs up on the video down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Comment if you like the gimbal or not. And with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. What is it doing?